Okay guys, this is the second video after you uh, install uh, the backup for people who buy the uh, HDD only. So you need to activate your uh, Act Browser uh, for people who fix your uh, PS4 for whatever the reason and you re reinstall the backup. Every time you will reinstall from the backup, uh, you will lose the, uh, the browser cache. So we need to just reactivate it, take a few minutes. Uh, so for people who upgrade also from 17 to 25 terabyte and you restore from the backup, the cache in the uh, browser will be lost. So this is all to uh, reactivate it. It's very easy. So first, uh, first, 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 you will need to go to setting. Make sure before you do anything, because we have to go to the internet for uh, one minute. So make sure uh, automatic download is uh, unchecked. So your system will not update any uh, recent firmware. So make sure you go to setting, system, automatic download, and uh, make sure update is on check. Uh, system information, this is for the 7.55 uh, restore. Uh, also, after that, you will. Uh... Okay, what's important now is you will be. You can use the, the Wi Fi or the LAN. Uh, it's better to use the LAN cable on your uh, PS4 because we have to go to the internet for one minute. So, you will go to network, uh, you will set up your. Um, this is my connection now. Uh, you will have to go to setup. Set up your internet. You, you will have to choose a Wi-Fi if you don't have choice, but it's better to use the LAN connection. Go to this process. Just make sure you have a regular connection. Um, So make sure you have no update download, make sure you have an uh, internet LAN connection. All right. When you finish this, you will go to the uh, uh, browser. If you have any page, you can press start, close it. After that, you will have this page. We have to clean everything. So browser history, you press start on the controller, clear browser history. Uh, after that, on this page, you press start, delete all. We clean everything. After that, you press start again, setting. Hello cookie, you can uncheck that. Delete cookie. You delete the cookie, clear website data, very important. You clean it, you can do it two times to make sure. Uh, for the cleaning, that's it. Browser history, there's nothing. There's nothing on this screen. So now you press start. So we have disabled the download uh, update. We have uh, enabled the network, oh, sorry. You have to enable because you have to enable the network. See, there. Because when you restore from a backup, the connection to internet will be unchecked. So even if you set up your internet, you have to check, uh, connect to the internet. After we finish the uh, browser act, we're gonna uncheck it, all right? So just for this tutorial, you check connect to the internet. All right, we go back to a browser. It's gonna load, I don't know what. Okay, forget this page. You go to browser. Um, 
and we you will choose online 7.55 golden n all right forget those uh, the the other bookmark this is for people who have the uh, seven uh, six seven two and for people who got the uh, local uh, host for the 755 but in your case if you want to install the hdd if you want to upgrade if you want to fix your ps4 and you buy my ps4 and my hdd you use the online just one time just to activate the uh, browser i'm going to show you i told you never have to you never have to do this just if you have a problem or if you restore your ps4 so you click online 7.55 golden n it's gonna install the offline cache that's what we need because the hack is based on the uh, very small portion of the uh, internet browser cache it says cache install successful turn off internet and reopen it so i press the home button now we go to setting network and we don't need internet you can unplug your uh, cable you can close your wi-fi now we no, don't need internet anymore all right so connection to internet is off and when we're going to open the page now we have no internet i close it you're going to open the page and the first time you should have the main page all right so that's it you have the hack install on your uh, ps4 so every time you're gonna reboot the ps4 and you're gonna open the browser without internet you will add this page all right after that when you want to hack your ps4 it's a little bit pain in the butt because every time uh, we hack a, a ps4 on 7.55 even with the uh, updated hack it's got a lot of fail all right but a lot of success all right so you have to be really patient okay don't panic this hack take uh, between 5 and 20 try before it's gonna work okay it can go even uh, it can freeze your ps4 uh, and stuff like that you will need to reboot don't panic okay it's gonna take about five to maybe 15 maybe 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes to act but the good news is you're never gonna break your ps4 nothing's gonna be lost uh, and the good news is you can reuse rest mode so when you have a, su a successful act and you can play all the game you play game you just put your ps4 on rest mode and when you're gonna boot it, you don't have to act uh, again from the browser, all right? So that's the good news. If you go to vacation and you don't play for a month, you can shut down your PS4. When you open it, you go back to this browser and uh, you're gonna act again, all right? So let's try, you're gonna choose golden. Uh, oh, I wanna show you something before. When the game is, you have um, when you have a lock on it on the game it means it's not activate it's not act that's what i'm going to show you so when you see a lock it means uh, the jet break is not activate when you see a triangle it means it's not activate but it means you do not add the drive with the game because you, you will add three drive and some game uh, when you see a triangle okay what i want to say is you, you can choose three drive all right uh, on my ps4 so when the game is going to be ready to play on your from your drive you're not going to see the triangle all right and when you see a lock after the jailbreak the lock that is going to disappear that's it all right so let's go to the browser. So let's say I reboot the PS4. I'm offline, no internet. You will press. Uh, okay, by the way, just before I activate the hack, what I show you the, uh, you know, the clean uh, cookie and clean. 
you don't do this again. If you clean the web browser data after that, you will lose the page to jailbreak. So you have to go to internet again and do the same process. So after that, you never clean the browser data and cookie egg. Just if you want to re-enable, all right? Because the, the page, uh, this page is in the cache. So do not clean the cache. All right? Okay, so let's say you wanna play. You go to the browser, it's gonna go on this page. If you see another page than that, you just press start, go to bookmark, and press, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna add it to the bookmark. Okay, if you lost this page, this bookmark, Night King is gonna be there. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go to another page, let's say. Okay, let's say you, you boot it, you see a white page, you say, oh, I lost the hack and blah, blah, blah. You press start, boom mark, and you will have the uh, new Night King version 197. There, all right. Uh, okay, now to activate it, um, you press the golden 755B and it's going to be a few, uh, few um, try and fail. Don't panic, let it do. Okay, the deal is you all, you, you're going to see this a lot of time, okay, like almost 20 times. This is not enough free system memory, that's normal. You just press X and it's gonna say that a few times, okay? It can take three times, it can take 20 times. Don't panic, don't press any other button, don't quit the browser, just press X on OK. Now I have no internet. I'm using the browser cache page. At one point it's gonna work. Every time it works. It just, oh see, now it should work. You will see a bunch of messages, don't touch anything. Just be patient and wait. I will show you what you're gonna see. Okay, it's so successful, don't touch anything. You should have a few pop-up on the screen before uh, quitting the browser, you have to wait. If the PS4 freeze for any reason, that can happen, press the C jailbreak fail, all right? So that's normal, that can happen, press OK. So now what's gonna happen is gonna rescan the drive on boot. I'm going to show you. I'm going to press restart because it, it failed. Oh, I forget something. Yeah. I'm going to show you. I forget to show you something that um, that make the act work better. Wait a second. The PS4 is going to reboot. Yeah, I'll show you how the process. It looks complicated, but it's not. Just a little bit pain in the butt to uh, activate it. Oh, I have to press the... Uh, if it doesn't start, you have to press on the uh, PS4. Because even if you uh, press restart after a failed jailbreak, because the uh, memory cache is broken, stuff like that, you have to press the button on the PS4 manually. 
all right? Sometimes you have to press two times. Sometimes you, you act the PS4 and it takes five minutes, it works like uh, straightforward. And sometimes you have to reboot, sometimes it takes longer. So that's normal, you will see uh, after a fail, you will see checking the system storage status. That's normal. Don't panic. You will not lose anything, you, know, you will not break your PS4. It's just the memory cache that it's, uh, because it used the memory cache on the internet, it's very small. And when you overpass the memory, you load the memory full, the PS4 doesn't like it, and you need to rescan uh, everything. It takes like two minutes. Um, not gonna be long. I know it's a long video, but I show you everything. Make sure you understand. Uh, I know I'm gonna show you a trick next time. It's gonna boot. I'm gonna show you a trick. It's gonna work 100%. So he went to 25% on check, and now it's going fast. Yeah. So if your PS4 doesn't reboot, yeah, you have to press the uh, the power the power uh, manually on the uh, PS4. Come on. All right. Yeah, you need to be really, really patient with this hack. You have to take your time and you, you will have success. I'm gonna show you something I forgot to show you. It will boot very uh, without error. Okay, press the home button on the controller. Just wait a few seconds. And make sure you have, um, you disconnect your external drive. So you don't, not gonna see the, the icon loading and scanning the game. So, um, you go to a device, USB, and you will see your USB external drive, and you eject all the drive. It's better for the, uh, the hack to, uh, when you, you, you hack your PS4, it's better to, uh, you have two options. You wait for the icon on the right corner to finish scanning the game and after that you hack your PS4 or you uh, eject all your drive and you hack your PS4 and after you uh, pair your uh, external drive, alright? So the trick, you will start pre uh, playroom. That's the, the trick I forget, sorry. You start playroom, you press the home button, it's gonna run on the background. You go to uh, internet browser, it's possible it's gonna load the last page when we act. No, okay. You press golden. Sometime when you come back to this page, it will activate the act automatically. Uh, that's okay, that's fine. So you press golden, 7.55B, and now it should work because we have the playroom uh, on the background. Don't ask me why, but that's the trick I found. All the hackers, they found that when you boot the playroom app, it makes the, the jailbreak worse. So you will have a bunch of uh, system memory, that's normal.
but now it's not gonna fail because we have the playroom running on the background. Yeah, can take uh, five, twenty shots. If after, let's say, it's your first time you're jailbreaking your PS4, oh, it's working now. And let's say after uh, you try 20 shots and you, you have 30 shots, it doesn't work. Just do the, from the beginning of this video, reinstall the, clean all your browser cache, clean your uh, cookie and reinstall the browser, activate the internet, activate the browser, close your, uh, but well, it should work if you, if you follow this tutorial. Successful. You have to wait. See, waiting for client, that's a good sign. You will say you are set and see on the left corner launching payload. You wait, wait, and now you see golden, right? So mean now you jailbreak it. It works. I forget, you have to, to uh, boot the, um, the playroom on the background and it should work. Uh, now you close the internet. And you have to wait. When you, the jailbreak works, just wait a few seconds. Don't rush to close everything. Just uh, be patient and everything should work. Now if you go to setting, if you have the debug setting at the end, mean you, you are jailbroken, all right? So you will still see the lock on the game, but as soon as you will start one game, all the lock is gonna disappear, all right? Now I have no game. I have a few game on the internal drive, but now it's time to plug your uh, external drive. Uh, you need to wait for the icon to finish scanning your drive, and you can play uh, any game now. All right, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna plug the, um, the drive, my Arico Bay. It's got the tree drive. Usually if you plug the tree drive, it's gonna take one of the tree drive. Uh, usually it takes the, the first one on the Arico Bay, but you can go to the uh, set. That's okay, that's an example. That's not gonna happen often, but sometimes it will say there's a problem occurring in the external storage. Uh, that means uh, after a PS4 that shut down uh, for lost power and stuff like that, whatever the reason. When you say a problem occur in the external drive, you click OK, it's gonna scan. But that happened very uh, rare occasion. What did that happen? You did reboot? Why? Okay, that's it for the video. It's my mistake. Anyway, watch my other video, uh, General uh, Wiki, how to use. And um, I'm gonna show you um, uh, how to play the game and setting and stuff like that. All right. So this is video. Is it was just how to jailbreak the uh, PS4. That's what we did. It works. And uh, have a great day. Bye. -bye.